are several acceptable methods for performing PHAs. The one, or the ones, to choose is based on the complexity and the type of information needed from the process hazard analysis itself. It's beyond the scope of this course to go into depth on all of the analytical methods available to perform a PHA, but I do want to at least list a few of them and then cover four of them in slightly more detail because of how common these particular PHA methods are. The most common methods used to perform PHAs are what if, checklist, what if checklist, hazard and operability study, which is commonly called HAZOP, failure mode and effects analysis, and fault tree analysis. Now, failure mode and effects analysis and fault tree analysis are highly rigorous PHA methods and are particularly suited for understanding very specific aspects of a cover process. Understanding these two methods in particular, and even others not listed here, are beyond the scope of this course. However, the what if, checklist, what if checklist, and HAZOP methods are more common. And it's likely that you've participated in one or more of these methods if you've participated on a PHA 